If you build it, they will come. At least that's the idea behind light rail transit, a $1.4 billion project funded by Maricopa County taxpayers. We tagged along on a recent media-only rail ride for a first-hand look, because in December, transit officials will unveil the entire 20.4-mile initial segment to Valley residents. While ridership is expected to be in the thousands and relieve the Valley's burgeoning traffic and air quality problems, city officials hope it will spark an urban revival. Tempe City Spokeswoman Chris Baxter says officials in Tempe are so confident of the rail's potential that they are going to disband a citizen committee whose goal was to redevelop and spruce up Apache Boulevard, the rail's longest stretch through Tempe. We created a redevelopment area and started working on ways to improve Apache Boulevard. Uh, we put in some infrastructure. We, we started doing some heavy crime sweeping through here. We brought in a neighborhood grocery store, did a few other things to really clean up the area. Now the transportation element to Apache Boulevard is coming back, and all the development is coming back with it. City officials in Phoenix, Tempe, and Mesa are planning ahead for crowds that may become unruly. They are now working on new rules to govern behavior on and off the rail. But entrepreneurs say they're looking forward to this crowd. Eugene Marchese is one of these entrepreneurs. The Australian developer and his investors have millions of dollars riding on the light rail success. They are building Lumina, an upscale tower project of hotel rooms, condos, and shops in downtown Tempe. And they are hopeful that the rail will bring in those up-and-coming affluent crowds. He says the company isn't targeting a demographic, but rather an urban mindset. We're not specifically a student housing project. Uh, we do have a, a number of uh, uh, faculty staff that are interested in, or who have purchased in our building. Uh, our hotel will obviously service you know, visiting professors and groups who tour. Obviously, ASU is a big attractor. Um, but you know, also with you know, the number of corporates that are in uh, Tempe, we think you know, we'll be able to attract them and give them a place to go to. But is light rail the answer to the valley's air and traffic problems? Transportation experts and local mayors will tell you no. There must be a combination of buses, trolleys, and commuter trains for it to work. And light rail planners are already at work on these issues. In the meantime, this train has already left the station. I'm Adam Klawan for Phoenix Magazine, and that's Life in the City.